it's here. I know it is. Enter. I take it you still haven't found it. The mask is inside the hotel. Sir, please accept my apologies. Apologies do not produce results. Get the mask. Is that clear? We will find it, sir. The Garden of Healing. The City of Harmony. We have two of the three. Which is just another way of saying we have nothing, isn't it? Yeah, movie reference. The Grand Hall is as tall as the reunion in itself. Gosh, look how far away the ceiling is. Imagine if you're up there looking down. It really would be like a chasm. I guess he's up there. This room is immaculate, but there's something off about that cushion. Really late and you walk into a grand hall and you're like, Hmm, that cushion is a few centimetres out of place. God, what a terrible place. It does look a bit bumpy, doesn't it? Maybe there's something stuffed inside. Is it a book? Then we got a new episode, Bloom's Subterfuge. So Bloom does not seem like a uh, very good character at the moment, does he? Oh well. Let us get some pink coins, because there are some to be gotten here. Uh, so... This place looks pretty big. We can't even see the roof. It's not going to let me pan up that high. <laughs> Which is very unfortunate. Uh, I'm just kind of looking around for hit guys. There's one there. And there is another one. There? Also. <laughs> How many hit coins do we actually have now? 246. That means we are missing four. And uh, since there are four in the next room, that is actually a really good thing. So, what do we want to inspect around here? Is there anything around here? Oh, there's, an imp there's a puzzle. There's a puzzle, there is. Professor, I found another book inside the cushion. You see, to have a fancier cover than the others. I wonder what story this one will hold. There's only one way to find out. Huh? It won't open. It appears that it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. Puzzle number 131, Jules of Luck. The book is locked up tight by some mis mysterious contrivance. The trick to open it lies in the ten arrow-shaped jewels adorning the cover. These jewels are arranged in a particular pattern and rotating just one arrow will release the lock. Okay, uh, the obvious answer is that uh, these just kind of... Let's go into memo mode. These all uh, kind of link to other arrows. I'm guessing except for one, which is, of course... Yeah, that's that one. Uh, the very... That one. So let us go ahead and rotate that. Tick! Because that is the one that seems very out of place. Can Is that, like, it? Do I just, like, tap it and then submit? Okay. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. Hooray! I spotted that within, that like, the first couple of seconds. Sure. And then just had to see that all the others follow the same pattern. So there we go. Each jewel is placed so the arrow is pointed to one other jewel. Hooray. Easy. Now we can read the book. Finally! Once upon a time there was a kind princess who lived in a secluded kingdom deep within a valley. This princess was so beautiful that suitors camped outside the castle for months, hoping for a chance to woo her. But not one of the wealthy and handsome young men pleased the princess. Picky! Then one day, as the princess was gazing from her window, she saw a young knight ride by. The princess fell in love with him instantly and begged her father to allow him an audience. The king was happy to encourage the match, and it wasn't long before the princess married her young knight. Some years later, when the two were rulers of the land, the young king rode out to slay a dangerous dragon. And he died at the end. And he died at the end. <laughs> the Chancellor did all he could to comfort the Queen of Grief. With time, the Queen's heart betrayed her lost husband, and she began to feel love for the Chancellor. Chancellor's plan worked, he had sent the king to Dragon's Cave and then collapsed the entrance. Ah, poor knight. The Queen knew none of this. She only knew that the King was gone and she loved the Chancellor. 
The two had a lavish royal wedding, and the audience sat with rapt attention, eager to see their new king. It seemed that here they would bear witness to the miracle of love. Now the treacherous Chancellor had the Queen, the Crown, and the country. But... But... You can't end a story on an ellipsis, that's just horrible. The Masked Queen? The, the, mas the mas Queen? Clearly that story's got up to me, I, I just, all the feels from that story, man. The Masked Gentleman must feel betrayed by someone he trusted, someone who stole his love. While he was trapped inside a cave. Gee, I wonder who this could be. Herp a derp. <laughs> I'd be pretty angry too, but what does this have to do with Monte Dor? Hmm. I think we need to focus on the words that the audience sat with rapt attention. <laughs> really? <laughs> Priest of Mind of Theatre. Mr. Mordaunt, is there anything like that here? Of course there is. Oh no. We have an auditorium. This refilms there. That's a theatre, isn't it? <laughs> What's the difference between a theatre and an auditorium? That sounds like the place. Let's go. Well, I've never actually heard the word auditorium in uh, England before. It's one of those terms that I kind of associate more with the Americas. But oh well. We haven't used the auditorium for some time. Nowadays, most new films are too rowdy to be deemed suitable. <laughs> Do you really think the masked gentleman is in here? Yes, I'm quite certain. We should take care when we investigate. Oh man, where could he be? Well, let's get the hint coins. There is one there. There is one on the exact opposite side. There is one there. And there is one there? No. Uh, oops. No, don't look behind the screen! 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 Uh-oh. But... I might have accidentally moved on the plot. That's not good. The king was not dead. One year after entering the cave, he awoke to find himself buried under rubble. He used every last ounce of strength to dig his way out through the debris. Finally, he made it back out into the open air. He hurried to the castle, anxious to relieve his wife's worry. Da da da! And there he found his queen and his chancellor, living happily as husband and wife. Have you have you guys picked up on the metaphor yet? There's a, there's a, there's a metaphor going on here. It's very subtle. Oh boy. <laughs> Wait, that's the end of the story? That remains to be seen. How about you, Luke? What do you- Luke? Professor? Where's Luke? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my humble theatre of revenge. That's a nice name for it. It's the gentleman. Oh, he's got Luke. <laughs> he's got Luke, he has. I believe you've lost something. Luke! I'd hand him this instant, you villain. Professor, help! Villain, for shame, Leighton. After all the effort I've made to keep you thoroughly entertained. I do hope you're looking forward to the final act. Ellipses. Tonight, my revenge will rise to its dramatic climax as the curtains fall on Monday door. But first, Leighton, the man who abandoned his childhood friend. I have a special show planned just for you. I'm sure your young friend here will play his role perfectly. Dun dun dun. Leave him out of this, he's just a boy! Oh no! Professor! <laughs> we have to save Luke! Quickly, Emmy! To the latent mobile. Just how deep do you want to delve? I hope you've enjoyed this look into my world, Leighton. 
I've left you one final puzzle, so that you may save your little friend. It looks as if he's in quite a predicament. And so high up. Oh my. Is it true, lady? I've heard you have a history of letting your friends down. So here is the puzzle. We got to rescue Luke. This puzzle worth 50 picker outs. While gliding to the bottom of the grand hall, the master gentleman has left Luke hanging for a rope in midair. Help Layton slide his way down the rope and drawn across and save Luke. There are only a few places where you can drop from one rope to another. Okay. Use the magnifying glass to do things. When passing from point A to P, touch drop down. Oh dear God. <laughs> Oh dear God! <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. <coughs> so wait, what? Uh, how do I do anything? Oh, okay. Maybe if I like press drop down there. Drop down. Drop down later. Um. So th fortunately, this is going to give me plenty of chances. I think. And uh, no, I missed Luke. Oh, how, how sad. <laughs> so this is all going to be automatic then. All right. So basically, if we just have a quick look, I need to drop down from L. Now to get on L, I need to get onto K. I think. Yeah, K. To get onto K, I need to get onto. Uh, I think I'll be okay anywhere, pretty much. So let, let's have, let's have a look. I know roughly where I need to go now. There we go. I think I can do it from here. I need to get onto. If we drop down here, then we need to fall off K. No, we don't need to do that. That's wrong. No, I'm sad. Ever reach the ground without finding Luke? So falling off at uh, K doesn't actually solve anything because it falls off at the wrong place. Oh, what do I need to do here? What do I need to do here? I need to... So I need to, I need to basically make it so that I land at P. And to do that, I, need, I definitely need to fall off at L. That is non-negotiable. I need to fall off at L. So how do I fall off at L? How do I, how do I get on that rope? Do I need to be going left and drop off at G, maybe? Maybe. If I drop off at G... Yeah, that's going to take me onto the rope with L. Success! Then I can go down here, then Luke! Hi! How's it going, buddy? I believe I have this one. Solving puzzles is truly a pleasure. Awesome times. Thank goodness Luke is safe. I don't know what I'd possibly do if Luke wasn't safe. Wait, where's he gone? Oh, there we go. Puzzle 133, Grand Hall Rescue is now in your puzzle index. Bravo, Layton. You risked your life and saved your friend. Yes, well as a friend once told me. No risk, no glory. <laughs> well, I suppose I won't be needing this anymore. <laughs> oh my god, it's Randall! It pains me to see you like this, Randall. Randall? But how? Hmm. Well, isn't this quite the reunion? Now, my revenge is at hand. Master Randall? 
Is that really you? It is. Unfortunately for you, I have returned to take back everything you stole from me. The Azran treasure, my family fortune, and my Angela. Henry, you will know the pain I have felt all these years. Randall, no! It's not like that! Master Randall, please! You've got it all wrong. Let me explain. Oh, I would love to. But unfortunately, I'm not interested in your explanations. You could at least tell us where you've been all these years. Well, all right. Why not? What good is an untold tale? I first explored the ruins of Akbadai nearly 18 years ago. I was only a few steps from unlocking its secrets before I fell victim to one of its many cunning traps. I fell into a deep ravine, where I could have died. But as fate would have it, an underground river broke my fall. In all fairness, the only reason you fell into that deep ravine is because you were an idiot. The current washed me onto the banks of a remote village. The villagers nursed me back to health. I made a full recovery but I could not tell the villagers anything about myself. My mind was a blank. You... you had amnesia? I worked in the village while I tried to recover my memory. Wait, is that sound about? Months went by. Years went by. Then eventually I gave up on trying to unearth my old life. The river took him all the way to Scotland. Then one day, I received a letter. I know all about your past, Yvette. I know who took everything from you. And I know how to get it all back. The letter recounted my life in great detail. And it said that the one who had betrayed me was a man named... Henry. Da da da! When I read that name, it was as though someone had turned a key in my mind. Everything came flooding back. I, re I remembered my love for Henry vacuum cleaners. I remembered all that I had, and all that had been taken from me. He stole my Henry vacuum cleaner! But the letter didn't end there. I have a plan to take revenge on those who have wronged you. You need only to don the garb of the masked gentleman, and they shall cower before you. So it was decided. I would have my revenge by taking back what was mine. My Henry vacuum cleaner. And the letters continued, each one advising me on how to execute my plan as the masked gentleman. As each phase of my plan fell into place, I felt myself returning with it. The masked gentleman brought me back. But he could never replace my Henry vacuum cleaner. Letters? Professor, do you think... I fear the worst, Luke. This closes my tale of woe. However, we still have a few tears to shed. Henry, you shall bear witness as I ruin you, just as you ruined me. Master Randall, wait! Mystery solved. Mystery solved. The Mask of Chaos. Uh, Randall used the Mythman's Mask of Chaos to convince everyone of his magical power. Awesome. The Masked Gentleman was revealed to be the long missing Randall. Oh my god, I've not been suspecting that since chapter one. Oh my god, that, this is the most insidious plot twist in any late game of all time. Moving on. And that is the end of chapter seven of uh, Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask. And I guess next time, uh, da, 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 don't want to look at that yet. <laughs> Close my 3DS. I guess next time I'm actually going to have to do another recording session because I don't record, you know, three chapters. So uh, next time is probably going to be finishing it off, which is uh, pretty cool. And unfortunately, we missed a hint coin and a collection item in the auditorium because I accidentally tapped on the theater screen. 
hopefully it's going to let me go back to there. We also missed uh, one of the, a puzzle in there as well. So there's like three things in that theatre room that we actually missed. So uh, hopefully it will let us go back there. <laughs> hopefully. I don't know. Chapter 8 should uh, enlighten us of all the situation and hopefully like this will be the final showdown against Randall and it will be, you know, awesome and epic and stuff. See you next time, folks. Exactly. Sh shut up, shut up. I understand where you're coming from, but it's definitely his false teeth. No. Yes. That's not the Yeah, it was. I was there. I think I know. I was there.